Blessed be the name of the Lord. Your name, Jesus. Worthy is the man who takes away the sins of the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight. Lord, we we'll give you praise. 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 We we'll ask, Lord Jesus, this hour, everywhere we are sinned against your consciousness, consciously, forgive us, O Lord, and wash us with the precious blood. We have shed upon the cross of Calvary, Lord. Cleanse us, O Lord. Cleanse us, O Lord. Cleanse us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Glory be to Holy Name Jesus. Jeremiah 38 and Luke chapter 15. Speak to your children in this night, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My son, the most be. Another son, Lord, make me pure in heart. Let my heart faithful to you. Trust in you. And be truth, truthful. So when you look at me, is your righteousness because without the truth without being pure at heart is difficult it's not even possible to be pure in your heart hallelujah purity comes from what purity lord make me pure in heart make my life faithful and true and when you look at me, is your righteousness you see. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight. Speak to your children once again this morning, this night. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jeremiah chapter 38, from verse 1 to the end. In the name of Jesus. Chapter 39 In the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army came against Jerusalem and besieged it. In the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, on the ninth day of the month, a breach was made in the city. Then all the officials of the king of Babylon came and sat in the middle gate. Nergal Sarezer of Samgar, Nebusar Sikam the Reb Saras, Nergal Sarezer the Reb Mag, with all the rest of the officers of the king of Babylon. When Zedekiah king of Judah and all the soldiers saw them, they fled, going out of the city at night by way of the king's garden through the gate between the two walls, and they went toward the Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. And when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon at Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he passed sentence on him. The king of Babylon slaughtered the sons of Zedekiah at Riblah before his eyes, and the king of Babylon slaughtered all the nobles of Judah. He put out the eyes of Zedekiah and bound him in chains to take him to Babylon. The Chaldeans burned the king's house and the house of the people and broke down the walls of Jerusalem. Then the Buzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried into exile to Babylon the rest of the people who were left in the city, those who had deserted to him, and the people who remained. Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left in the land of Judah some of the poor people who owned nothing, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, gave command concerning Jeremiah through Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him, look after him well, and do him no harm, but deal with him as he tells you. So Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, Nebuchadnezzar, the Rabsaris, Nergosaiza the Rabmag, and all the chief officers of the king of Babylon, sent and took Jeremiah from the court of the guard. They entrusted him to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, that he should take him home. So he lived among the people. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the guard. Go and say to ebed melech the Ethiopian, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will fulfill my words against this city for harm and not for good, and they shall be accomplished before you on that day. But I will deliver you on that day, declares the Lord, and you shall not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid. For I will surely save you, and you shall not fall by the sword. But you shall have your life as a prize of war, because you have put your trust in me, declares the Lord. You have your, your life as a part of war because you put your trust in me. <laughs> it is God, eh? Oh God, God, God is something else. Seriously. <laughs> God is something else. He don't joke with your creator. 
He don't joke with your creator. When he refused to do something, else, he gives you know that the Lord is so patient, man. He's so patient. God the serve is so patient. He tolerates so much from us. So much insult. This God is so patient. No one can be compared with you. Can, you cannot compare anybody with the level of the patience that the Lord has for 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 we who men. Seriously. He's so patient. He's so patient. There's no way you can fault him. You can't for you can't say God has done or oh, God is God is not he's patient and so loving. From what we've been reading this thing for within this Jeremiah for how many almost two weeks now, the Lord has been talking to the, to, to the king of um, Zechariah. You have been talking to him, talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. See the good plan I have for you. I will take you to go to surrender yourself to, to, to the book of Nazar. And now we you will be dear, just relax. The book of will take care of you. He will not kill you. He will not. He will. He will love you. He will do everything. I will, I, will, I will make sure. The Lord told told him vividly that you make sure that Nebuchadnezzar treats him. You know, will not, will not, will not, will not humiliate him or, or you know, or mishandle him. Nebuchadnezzar respected him and treated him. But the only thing there is this: that position as a king for now. Is withdraw from you. Just surrender yourself to him. So you can save the life of your noble men. And just surrender yourself. But if you refuse to surrender, I will make you a byword. And make you rotten before the eyes of the people. Then that will happen here. And the whole king became so to the extent in the presence they killed, he, he was uh, harmless, and the uh, end of removing his, his eyes and you know, treating like, like just rubbish. May God help us to obey, even when it's not, even when things are not working in our own way. We, we, may, we may have our expectations and we have everything that you have set up. And this is what and what and what I want I want to achieve in my life. And this is the kind of things and things I want. I want to, you know, I want to have this, I want to have this, I want to have this. In the process, the thing the Lord is bringing to your life is totally different. The thing the Lord is doing in your life is totally different and it's, it's totally away from your expectation. What you expected. Because sometimes our expectations are built, we build our expectation, you know, you know, according to the environment we are in a certain you know, certain time in our life. Probably now you are in a, a big church and then and then and then and you're very close to the to the uh, I mean to the leaders. I know that kind of thing. You're very close. Your parents, you know, you're very close to the leaders. <clears throat> That's one for our girls. Probably, probably the parents have so much money, and their parents are like very, very, you know, deeply wealthy and all those stuff. Rubbish wealthy. They are really wealthy, and therefore your parents always expect them to marry someone who is very wealthy like them. Or who is in the middle in the class that very kind of class, but unfortunately to you, some dream you've had or something that have happened in your life, the kind of thing the Lord is bringing to you is totally different from what your expectations. But you can see that there's the hand of God in this. That this is not the kind of thing I'm looking for. This place is so is still is not my standard. It's not what I want. Why would God give me this kind of person? Why would God do this kind of thing to me? God, are you in just, in just you, are, you are unjust God? 
That happened to us so many times. Then when you carefully read between the lines, be able to see the will of God. Like you can see the will of God. You can see that God is in this. But unfortunately, because we want to belong, you know, you know, probably the people who belong to the the, the level of our of, of our uh, the league of our parents, they're the kind of people where they spend up to hundred million to do wedding, hundred million to do, you know, as they finish their wedding and giving them a private jet as a gift. And that kind of level you want to. And that is not what the Lord wants for you. I, it's obvious that it's not what the Lord wants for you now. Because of what is preparing for you. The greater thing beyond all that. They will now surrender oneself with bring limitation to what the Lord. Unfortunately, start fighting with the Lord. The Lord is revealing to you and you know. Start fighting and fighting and fighting. At the end of it all, since it's what you want, the Lord will allow you to go for what you want. Unfortunately, you are walking according to your own will, not the will of God. And after all, you begin to blame God. God, what have I done? Why do you give me this kind of thing? Why did this happen? Why did this happen to me? Let's learn to surrender our will. Total brokenness will bring you will give us peace and will bring restoration and exhortation in the future. You look at this, I mean, as the saw himself, how can I bring myself so low to this king? And again, if you look very well, according to when the Lord was talking to Zedekiah, to submit, the Lord said something which did strike me. Zedekiah was a strong man. And he being respect, respected too in the region. He can actually, you know, he, he can actually challenge Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar is greater that he can he have the ability with what he has to challenge Nebuchadnezzar. Because that's the reason why the Lord said. Even if you fight, you will not win. Because spiritually, the Lord has given him the, the victory to Nebuchadnezzar already. Because the Lord knows that this guy is quite a strong man. But God wanted to humble him in order to exalt him in the future. But he refused. He refused all his power and everything, all his influence. And unfortunately, the Lord has already determined what he wants to do. And all the law wanted to do is for their own good. So that those rough road that you see yourself with riding is for your own good to secure your destiny, to secure your future. It may not be what you wanted at all. May God help us in Jesus' name. You know what you want is to secure your destiny, to secure you. And I pray that the Lord will give us wisdom in the name of Jesus and give us the spirit of patience so that we can allow the will of God to fulfill and manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And here you can see what happened here. The Zedekiah died. Oh God, have mercy. Zedekiah died. Is this guy? And they just go through. Ah, God, my capay. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. And the Lord is not happy for what actually happened to the God. Was not happy at all. The Lord was not happy at all. The Lord was not happy at all. He's not happy at all. Because through. The book, the book through uh, the, uh, the prophet, Prophet Jeremiah, you've told him already, see what I have for you. But this is what I want you to do. is that you sow this seed of humility for this greatness for the future. But he refused. 
sow this humility for the greatness for tomorrow. He refused. Today we want immediate all. We want to be there. We want, we want, we want, we want to be exalted immediately. We don't want to go through the process of humility so that God can exalt us. Because of our internal pride. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. And I pray may the mercy of God paralyze every force that have been released to us for destruction in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now we're going to move on to the next scripture. May God have mercy. Oh God have mercy. Oh the Lord have mercy. That's it. Then we say the book of the king of Babylon gave command concerning Jeremiah through Nebuzadrim, the captain of the guard. Take him, look after him well, and do him no harm, but deal with him as he tells you. So Nebuchadnezzarim, the captain of the guard, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, the rat service, Nega Reza and the Rab Mark and all the chief officers of the kings of Babylon sent out, sent, sent and took Jeremiah from the court of the guard. They trusted him, they entrusted him to the Gedenia, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shemphan, that he should take him to uh, take him. Take him home. And so he lived among the people. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the Lord, of the God. Go and tell, go and go and say to a Medlek, the Ethiopian, Thus says the Lord God, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will fulfill my word against this city for him, and not for good. And not for good. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, even though that the Lord, you know, what 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 you know, you know, the prophecy is supposed to be encouraging. You know, because sometimes that those who went to the theology, theology school. You know, we say that the word of God, I mean, the word that the prophet is supposed to be presentation for encouraging, not to bring someone down around us. So I'm telling you, the, the, the word of God, the, sometimes the word of God comes for chastisement. Prophecy can come as a chastisement. And the chastisement of the Lord is only towards, you know, you know when we have humility, we should be able to receive any kind of insult. When we are able to receive any kind of war from the Lord. When we, the humility is there, we should be able to receive. As far as we are, you know, we are the same. Because when the Lord is releasing some of these words, so that God can even release a chastising, a chastising word to an unbeliever. Yes. No, the person who just gave his life to Jesus Christ. Or someone who is even not born again. The Lord can release a chastising word to the person, to some people. Why will God do that? You may you will may not understand the reason why He's doing that. The one who is giving that word understand the ingredient inside the word that is receiving. Probably somebody, somebody, somebody. The Lord wants him to give, or, 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 the, or the, mess, uh, the Lord, or the Lord is giving you a message, and this person is not born again, and the message is supposed to lead him to Christ. Yes. Now, probably a person has been sleeping with somebody he's supposed not to be sleeping with, or stealing money, or doing one injustice in the house. Now, the Lord now send you to him. Normally, as in the normal circumstance, it's supposed to be the word of God that is going to that person. It's supposed to be what a, a, a word of encouragement. The Lord try to help the person out. The one that will make the person's faith to grow, whatever. Now, now, but now the Lord now start to release a chastising word, words, like now telling the person off. 
He said, oh, the Lord, okay, a person who did not know you at all, and you know that you're walking under the Spirit of God, you are not finished from a, a place of sin, and now feel with him, then now come to release. No, it cannot. You must know that your spiritual level is, 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 is intact before you are giving such kind of word. Hallelujah. And again, God can do anything beyond our imagination. Hallelujah. He can use anything in order to save whoever, whoever I want to save. Hallelujah. Now, the, the law can use, can, can, can from, you know, can, no, no, come from that, um, you know, you know, you know, from that man of God or the woman of God who the Lord want to use to save an unbeliever, and now try to tell the person, stop doing that. Like what can come like this? Stop doing that. You are doing. Know what you are doing. Stop it, or else, or else you'll be caught and you'll be destroyed. You be caught. It's a very harsh word, but the person understand. Even you that are giving the message, you don't understand. You don't understand. But the person that is receiving that message under, understood. He may argue with you. He may just receive it. The thing is, the message has been passed. Then, as he's leaving you, the Lord, the Spirit of God, begin to process the message in his heart, in order to deliver you from shame. So you need to stop sleeping with his uh, boss's wife or to stop sleeping with the boss's uh, children or something. Or stop stealing his master's money. Or stop, you know, you know, you know, organizing, you know, uh, 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 um. <laughs> or stop selling his boss's, you know, his boss out. Or whatever evil he's trying to do. The law can do that. He can, he can use he can use anything. It's always good, my brother and sister, that we humble ourselves before God. Because with humility, we're able to get every good thing the Lord has for us. Every good thing that the Lord has for us. With humility. But when we try to don't like what happened to this guy, it's very, very sad. For about two weeks now, we've been studying this very scripture. You know. Zedekiah, the Lord warned him, see, I want to bless you, but leave the land of Israel for now, because the land is polluted with your sins. Leave the land of Israel, leave this land first of all, leave this land now, and go to Babylon. Surrender to King Nebuchadnezzar for a while. He will give you, he will treat you well, he will treat you like a royal, a royal, a royal, you know, he will treat you well. Then, the the the, the 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 other Israel Israelites go there, buy land, build house, marry, and enjoy your life there, and leave the land of Israel alone, because the land has been polluted. Then after when I'm done with whatever I want to do with the land, then I will return you back. The Lord even promised Zedekiah He's going to restore him back and bless him. And even, even when he die, that he will be buried among the kings. He will be honored. He told the king Hezekiah, say he will be honored. But unfortunately, Hezekiah preferred to listen to the false teachers and the false prophets, the false prophecies, without listening to Jeremiah. At the end of it all, here you go. Due to disobedience, he was arrested. In his very presence, all his children were destroyed, killed in their presence. In his very presence, he was arrested and his eyes was removed. And he was destroyed, killed. And all the royal members, all the kingmakers, all of them were destroyed also because of the king's disobedience. May God help us in Jesus' name. The here now you know the true prophet, the Jeremiah, who the Lord had been using to release these words, was what honor the king. They said they should keep him. They should they should give him whatever he requests. They should treat him. That's exactly what the Lord wanted to do for the king also. But unfortunately, disobedience, pride, pride. Pride. 
May God help me in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this prayer to ourselves. Father, any seed of pride in me, every seed of pride in me, Father Lord Jesus, let that pride be destroyed. I uproot every rooted pride in me in the name of waiting the time of my glory in order to destroy me. Father Lord Jesus, forgive me, Lord. Let every seed of pride in me be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of the Lord will help us whatever, you know, whatever secret sin or secret pride in us. The, may the Lord open, open our eyes. May the Lord help us to see these things in the name of Jesus. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and walk in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, so we'll be delivered from, from any kind of um, wicked spirit that have come in our life. To kill, to steal, to destroy. They will not succeed in their evil works. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's quickly now go to the book of Luke, Luke chapter 15, from verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 15, 1 to end. Chapter 15. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him, and the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country, and go after the one that is lost, until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me. For I have found my sheep that was lost. Amen. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And he said, There was a man who had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that is coming to me. And he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country, and there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. So he went out and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into his fields to feed pigs. And he was longing to be fed with the pods that the pigs ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, but I perish here with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer... See, here the, the point came to his life, that the prodigal son, that he said, And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Why did he actually say, you know, look at that statement very well. He said, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. You see, the, the worst state of every man on this earth It's when you don't have any cause of remorse. When you cannot repent, when you cannot say, I'm sorry. When you feel so that everything you are doing is good, you are not as if you are a superhuman being, you don't make mistake. When you cannot look back and say, oh, I have, I have sinned, or I'm very sorry for what I have done, genuinely from your heart. Because tr truthfully, in this life today, I've discovered that I've, I've been so many, I've had so a lot of experience in my life today. You know, there's so many people who cannot repent, who cannot repent from their sin. So many people.
people cannot, cannot repent from their sin. Lord, that the false prophets, the former false prophet that Elijah, that Elijah slaughtered, they knew definitely that they are, they are at, at, at wrong. They knew definitely they are serving the wrong God. They, they can see, they try everything they can to make sure they brought fire to consume the sacrifice. But unfortunately, it was obvious now. But at that stage, when they know that their life is at risk, they know that their life is at risk, what should they do? They're supposed to repent and say, okay, today we surrender to the God of what? To the God of, uh, 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 the, the God of Elijah. But what did they do? They continued to tie so, something to cut their flesh. The Bible says, and to the extent the blood was, was coming out from their body. I mean, no spirit of repentance. The grace to repent had taken away from them. And not only them, look at Saul. The little sin that they committed, but he refused to repent. The Lord tried everything to make sure that this guy repent. He refused to repent. Even the Lord made up the heart of David to play violin, to bring down the Spirit of God so that he can repent. He refused to repent. Pride destroys. Pride kills. May God deliver us in Jesus' name. That's the worst state of any man. And here is the prodigal son. He squandered the money. See, he the father divided the property, everything to, into two. Give him the the you know. He took everything away and squandered. And squandered. If to so many people today, what would what would they do? They will not go back to their father. They will prefer to commit suicide to die, or they will prefer to find some some robbers. And start using them to, to rob their fa his father. But yeah, he repented. He repented. He repented. Father Lord, you will receive that spirit of repentance, Lord Jesus. Because the spirit of repentance is something like a spirit of humility. The Bible said that he, the Lord said, I will exalt those who humble themselves and those who are proud, who, who are full of themselves. Now I, I will debase them. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we humble ourselves before the Lord. So the Lord will exalt us. So the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You're worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. You see, we should try as much as possible, I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, to make sure that you allow the heart of repentance, the broken heart, a heart of humility. Because a true heart of humility is always ready to accept insult. A <laughs> ready to accept insult. You can see it vividly in this, the life of this guy, the prodigal son. He went to the king. So he went to his father. He's ready, whatever insult. Even if father wants to demote him, I want to make him to be one of his, uh, you know, cleaner. Because he trusts his father. His father, you know, takes care of all the servants very well and pay them. Then why should I be suffering out there? Let me become one of the servants of my father. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. Then instead of that position the position he was looking for he was he was honored and he was restored back because of what the spirit of repentance may the lord help us in the name of jesus amen and amen he was restored back he was restored back to his position he was restored back and that's what repentance that's what humility does when we humble ourselves we see the mighty hand of the lord in our lives, in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of let the mercy of God locate us. In the name of God, let every every distraction in our lives, in the name of God, be cut off. In the name of God, let the spirit of uh, the, the spirit of sound mind, the sound mind, in the name of God, take over our lives. 
the name of your soul that will begin to think, begin to operate. Hallelujah. In the in the in the <clears throat> in the way the Lord wants us to operate, the way that is normal in the name of Jesus. That we will not see in abnormal or feel abnormal abnormality and begin to you know you know I, I, I feel that what is abnormal is not normal amen because they because the word of god said that people will become what lover of money lover of themselves lover of pleasure the when people become lovers of money lover of pleasure lover of them of their own self they will feel that that is the normal way for us to behave the normal way for everything to be for us is totally de deception and, and delusion Hallelujah. You're supposed to love one another, love God more than money, more than anything. But when it's the other way around, we actually need what? Our, our mind, God to heal our mind from every pollution. And I, may, I pray in the name of God, we will receive this mercy from God in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, mm. and bring the fattened calf, and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. Hallelujah. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. Amen. He was lost, and is found. Amen. And they began to celebrate. Amen. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing, and he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and your father has killed the fattened calf, because he has received him back safe and sound. But he was angry and refused to go in. His father came out and entreated him. But he answered his father, Look, these many years I have served you, and I never disobeyed your command. Yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed the fattened calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad, for this your brother was dead and is alive. Amen. He was lost and Amen. is found. Amen. And I pray in the name of Jesus, probably in our own way, we were walking as a dead man. Here, see how the word of God put it. This guy was alive, but the Lord is seeing him because he chose the path of death, not the path of life. If you are walking in the path of death, you're already dead while you're alive. And I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, in any way we are walking in the path of death, Father Lord Jesus, we come back to the you know to the right track in the name of the track of life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Man, our Father Lord, you deliver us from every form of dead track that we are walking on. In the name of Jesus. By your mercy, Lord. In every restoration, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can see in this scripture that the, the part of restoration, the true restoration comes from what? The heart of repentance. Repenting from our sin. Saying, I am sorry from, from whatever I have done. Hallelujah. And the process, you can see that humility that was displayed there brought what? Restoration. Brought restoration. Brought restoration. Mm. And thank God for the wisdom too the Lord gave the Father. You know, like the son said, Oh, see, and my, my brother who, who was, you know, he never killed and he never honored me the way you're honoring this boy. But the father told him, come, everything here is yours. But this your brother was dead, and now he's alive. Even though he's coming back, he's not taking your place. He's not taking your place. He may be the first son, or whatever, but he's not taking your place. You just have to just restore him. Now he's under you. See, everything I have is what is yours. See, that's the reason, even though, you know, we may forgive and all those stuff, you know, if, if you have decided to break, break the seal or break the covenant or, or, or 
definitely now now probably after 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 the previous one being restored now he will now he can never be the same in the family anymore there's no way he can be his father will not the father will restore him but he cannot trust him the father cannot trust him may god have mercy in the name of jesus even though he's been restored but the father cannot trust him like like the like the son the second son who decided to stay without you know messing around and i pray in the name of jesus that we will not lose our place in the name of jesus let's not we will not lose our place the place the the blessing the lord has blessed us bless us with will not allow distraction to to make us lose our place in the name of jesus right now i want to just pray this prayer about ourselves about our children about our our our, our 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 brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus for those who are married your children and those who are not married yet and they're hoping the Lord you pray for your future children you may not be married now but keep praying committing the, the future of your children in the hands of the Lord and that the Lord the Lord the Lord will hear you and when that situation comes when the enemy wants to destroy them the Lord will definitely make a way for them because you have already arrested their future you have already prayed they have already sealed their future in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to pray this moment in the name of Jesus. That every wrong, every, 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 every distraction that enemy may bring in the life of our children, the life of our children, the life, our own life, in the name of Jesus. Whoever the enemy will be like a, a friend to distract, because this prodigal son was distracted by his friends. They were, they, you, know, you know, just like you know, in the in the in the, in the book of in the book of Psalm chapter one. Let just quickly read that book so we we'll able to pray the right prayer. We we'll able to understand better. The book of Psalm chapter one, from verse one, I think one 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 two three or thereabout. Let's just go through it. Hallelujah. Book of Psalm chapter one. May God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Book of Psalm 21 said this Blessed is the man who walks not, who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the ways of the sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scoffers. The thing that I did us, blessed is a person who does not walk with the bad friends. With liars, with deceivers, with the wicked, you know, ones. But his delight is what? In the law of the Lord. And on his law, on the law of God, he meditates day and night. And when you move with the right friends and decide to follow the path of justice and life, the Lord said what? He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yield his fruit in his season. And its leaf does not wither. Now the situation will come to challenge you. But that situation will not swallow you. It cannot defeat you. You always come, come out on top. Just like what happened to Joseph. <laughs> situation come to destroy Joseph. But that situation caused the, uh, Joseph <laughs> to travail, to prevail. Hallelujah. See, it's like a tree planted by the streams of water. That ye is fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. Hallelujah. That in all that he does, he do he prospers. He prospers. Let's pray for our children. Let's pray for ourselves in the name of Jesus. That we will not be distracted by the wrong friends. In the name of Jesus, we will follow the truth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that we hate evil, we hate the wrong friends, we hate the wrong communication and the wrong associations. In the name, because here the Lord say what? He say if you do that, we will not prosper. You can see that in the prodigal son's life, his brother decided to stay away from such kind of friends, and he restored. I mean, was able to you know kept his position, but his brother lost his position as as a heir. Because of what? Because of wrong friends. And I pray in the name of Jesus 
no wrong friends will come into my life to steal, to kill, to destroy what the Lord has for me. No wrong friend will come to the life of our children, the life of our brothers and sisters, even the life of our parents in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, Lord, of to follow and meditate day and night on your law so that you can be like a tree planted by the rivers of water in the name of Jesus. That every season we are fruitful in the name of Jesus. And everything we do, everything we do, everything we do will prosper. As we go into our work, our business, we will prosper, we will prosper, we will prosper. In the name of Jesus. 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 Imagine if your Christian, true Christian, do is walking in the way of the Lord. This is the kind of blessing that you are carrying. Wherever you go, the situation must change for better. Because you are light. Because you are an asset. Even to some of those companies. Hallelujah. Perhaps the company is not working, things are really making the company is not going well. But you decided to live this kind of life. Your 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 way of life, the light, the blessing that you are carrying through obeying the word of God affects your environment. Seriously, it affects your environment. The more you are not working this path and decide to follow the wrong friends. <laughs> you will be part of those that will rob the company. And within a short time, the company will, will fall down. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. When we follow the right path, follow the right path, I will to see the blessings of God and manifest in our life. Let me to pray tonight and ask the Lord, please, Lord, forgive us. Anyone who have sinned against you, anyone who have opened the door to the enemy into our lives, Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. This night, O Lord Jesus, we have decided, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, to follow the way in the name of Jesus, to repent from our sin, to follow the way, hallelujah, to follow your way, to obey you, to trust in you, in the name of Jesus, so that we can be like the tree planted by the waterside, in the name of Jesus, that is always fruitful, that everything, we say, everything, we say, in all that he does, he prospers. He prospers. He said, the way the wicked are not so, but all, but they are like chaff that the wind drives away. They are like the chaff that the wind drives away. Hallelujah. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, and I pray that the Lord have had us in the name of Jesus, and let in the name of we begin to walk in this very in, in obedience in humility in the name of Jesus and let the blessings of the Lord begin to manifest in every areas of our lives from now in Jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen right now in the name of Jesus I want us to open our, our Bible to a uh, son you're going straight now to our confessions thank you Lord Jesus Psalm chapter 22 Psalm 23, from verse 1 to end. Psalm 23, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, I, your rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my hair with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then Psalm, Psalm chapter... 59 verse 1 and 2 Psalm 59 verse 1 and 2 Thank you Lord Jesus Psalm 59 1 and 2 He said deliver me from my enemies oh my God protect me from those who rise up against me deliver me from those who walk evil and save me from not thirsty men in the name of Jesus once again deliver us from our enemies oh our God Protect us from those who rise up against us in the name of Jesus. 
Deliver us from those who work evil and save us from that testament. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Psalm 91, from verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust, in the name of Jesus. For he will deliver you from the snake of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence, in the name of Jesus. He will cover you with his pinion, and under his wing you will find refuge. His refuge is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day, nor the person that stalk in darkness, nor the destruction in the waste and noon day. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but do not come near you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, man, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague will come near your tent. In the name of Jesus, for He will command His angel concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On the hand will bear you up. You will not strike your foot against the stone. In the name of Jesus. You will tread on the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the serpent. You shall trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. In the name, I will rescue him. I will honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and Amen. Psalm chapter 144 from verse 1 to end again. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus. Say, blessed be the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love. Hallelujah. My fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. O oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him, or a son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, is dead like a passing shadow. Bow the heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Turn the mountains so that they smoke. Flash for the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrow and root them. Spread out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from many waters from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks nice whose right hand is right hand of falsehood i will sing a new song to you O god upon the ten string heart i will play to you who give victory to kings who rescue david his servant from a close world rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks nice whose right hand is right hand of falsehood may our sons in their youth be like plants full grown our daughters like a conopinous, cut for a structure of the palace. May our nary be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom some blessing fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The psalm chapter 124 for verse 1 to end in the name of Jesus thank you Lord if it had not been the Lord who was on our side hallelujah let Israel now say if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when people rose up against us then they would have swallowed us up our life when their anger was kindled against us, then the floor would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us, and over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. You have escaped like a bird from the snake or the fowler. The snake is broken, we have escaped. Because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done Lord, in our life tonight. Thank you for listening up to our prayers. For answering our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 
and again tonight i want us to just quickly pray for the peace of israel the peace of the middle east in the name of Jesus, the peace of Biafra land and other countries that are going through horrible moments, war and 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 ominous of uh, political instability. Let's add the mercy of God in the name of God for peace. Father Lord, tonight Lord, we pray for peace for Israel, Lord. Peace, peace, peace in the Middle East in the name of your Father. Cause the Israel and their neighbor to begin to agree to love one another in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, help us, Lord, your whatever wickedness that have arrested our spirit, soul, and body. May that spirit, to Lord, your be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, help our leaders, help our leaders to understand that when we allow or when we are promoting violence, is our children will suffer. Not only were children suffering, you know, we will we, we, we not know peace either. Father Lord Jesus, let remove this wicked spirit of um, fighting and destruction and killing one another from the, in the, from the Middle East, from every part of the world. Help us, Lord Jesus, to love one another in the name of Jesus. From deep down our hearts, the true heart of heart that is full with the truth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord, over your children. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And let's pray once again for those who have sustained uh, injury, gun bullets, and all manner of. Let me to pray that the Lord, by His mercy, will restore them by those who are in a complicated situation. Let the mercy of God, in the name of Jesus, bring solution to those situations. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this moment once again, Lord, let those who are, who, are, who, are, who have been injured or those who have sustained one injury or the other, Father, Lord, or sickness or the elderly, the, 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 the little ones, Father, Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, to restore back their health to Lord. Those who have, Lord, broken wounds and the broken legs and all that, Father, we ask, let that be healing, let that be miracle. Restore them back to their full to their full state in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mercy Lord we pray. Mercy Lord we pray over your people. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Once again, let me begin to pray that as our leaders will be meeting as we are entering to the new week. Let those meetings be will be towards the end of making peace. And not and not you know you know shouting for violence or being angry and being annoyed with what is happening. But let's in, in the name of you let those meetings, let those assemblies, let those government meetings you know be aired towards you know finding a place for unity, for peace, for peace, for peace over our nations. Because the more the government, you know, the government, you know, the, the leader, the president, while like they are fighting, they have jet, they can easily escape. And it's the grassroots that will suffer it most. Now all this that is happening now, do you hear that the, the, the I mean, you know, the important people, even in their house, they've been destroyed. Two of them, they have houses all over the world. They can escape and still continue living their life. It is the poor that will suffer. It is the innocent one will suffer. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, as our leaders meet together, in their various forum this week, for I let there be a tangible, a tangible meeting that will lead to, that will lead to, that will lead to ceasefire, that will lead to peace, that will lead to restoration of harmony in our society. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let those who are falling to continue or who are falling to to join, to join, to join the crisis. Father Lord, may they see the reason for, for, for ceasefire. May they see the reason for peace. May they see the reason to lay down their arms. May they see the reason in the name of Jesus. For true peace in the name of Jesus. Everyone falling, I want to continue the violence. I want the, this war to to keep on spreading all over. We ask the Lord Jesus, stop them. Those that enemy have filled their heart, that they will, you know, cause, cause, cause the war to continue. 
Father Lord Jesus, in every meeting that have been held this week, we ask Lord Father, stop them. Give them reason so that they will have excuse not to be in those meetings. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And I mean to pray that the Lord will bless us as we go into this very new week. Our going out and our coming in. In the name of your let's get into the hands of the Lord. And as the Psalm 121, it said that the Lord will protect our going out and our coming in. Hallelujah. Our head will be lifted up. Our head will be lifted up. Blessings will come in the name of success and progress in the name of Jesus. Increase in everything we lay our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers, O Lord. We ask, O Lord Jesus, we will we overcome every challenge that we face this week in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, my brother and sister, for joining us once again tonight. I pray that the mercy of God will continue to keep and protect and make a way for, for you where there is no way. In the name of Jesus. And our prayer tonight, hallelujah, to everyone who have joined us tonight and those who will join us in the future, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Either the, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord protect you, may the Lord smile at you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace in every areas of your lives. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Jessica Eden, thank you for joining us tonight. Hallelujah. It's been a long while that you join us. We are welcome once again. And I pray the Lord will perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. And everyone that has joined us, the same prayer goes to you in the name of Jesus. And my greatest prayer for all of all of you and all of us is that when the trumpets of God shall sound, we will not miss this heaven. We will be at the right place at the right time. The mercy of God in the name of God will see us through. In Jesus' name we pray. And as we go into the new week, we go in the name of Jesus and with the favor of God. In the name of God, men will favor us. God will favor us. And the Lord will protect us from every evil. It will shine like the star. In the name of Jesus. God bless you all and shalom to you all. In Jesus' name we pray. See you in the morning. Hallelujah.